we are only now six months away from the end of the Brexit transition period, and uh, it was therefore important to take stock of the ongoing negotiations with the United Kingdom. We joined, uh, jointly stressed our willingness to undertake all possible efforts to come to an agreement, seeking solutions that will allow us to sign a one-of-a-kind partnership with the United Kingdom. And indeed, for this, we have to bridge wide, diver wide divergences uh, which remain to be solved. Uh, the topics are known. It's the level playing fields at the fisheries, the governance, and it's the scope of our police and judicial cooperation. These are important points for the European Union because these are principles, fair competition, the rising social standards, protecting our citizens and the rule of law. These are principles that are at the heart of the European Union. Time is short, however, and even if we find a deal, many things will still change in our relationship with the United Kingdom for citizens, for businesses, for administrations. We therefore also need to plan for these changes. The Commission has been working on these issues. We've made progress, but we should not reduce our efforts. We will continue to assist national authorities and other stakeholders in their preparation for Brexit. I also emphasize to leaders that we must continue our work to ensure the proper implementation of the withdrawal agreement. We will remain very attentive on this point. Finally, no one can say with certainty where these negotiations will be at the end of this year. But I know for sure that we will have done everything to reach an agreement and to have a good start with the United Kingdom as a third country neighbor then.